What's up guys, back again with another Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play video for the Elite Four Potential Challenger Championship title defense video. We are about to walk up to the chair and see who the challenger is this time. The previous video we got to challenge youngster Tristan from Route 1, so I'm really interested to see who we're going to challenge this time. Okay, Captain Sophocles, Sophocles, whatever his name is. Playing games with Big Mo, maintaining Festival Plaza, checking the anime I've recorded. They're all fun, but not the same as a battle with you, Dominique. I worked out a plan with Lima Lima against you, Dominique, to try to win. Okay, we all know Captain Sophocles, Sophocles, his Pokemon are all electric type. So this battle should be pretty easy for me, not only because, I think really the only reason is because of my level advantage. I think I have a, I have a lot of flying and water type in my team, so I think what might really only save me is the level advantage. There's always like a new mouse electric type Pokemon every time another game comes out, I just realized that. Okay... Togedemaru must be, I think, Steel and Electric, yeah, because I wondered why um, my Fire-type moves were really effective against it, because I never battled with Togedemaru in this game. I only, you know, had it so I could complete my Pokédex. I didn't pay much attention to it, but moving on. Okay, and it's a one-hit KO. Well, his Pokemon seem to be at least 20 levels under mine, so I do have the upper hand. About to send in Golem. Um, I do believe Golem is Rock and Electric. Yeah, Rock and Electric. Duh. So, hmm, what's effective against Rock? I don't have a good fighting type, so we're just going to have to go with Milotic. And it's Water, so... Uh, his secondary type being electric will be a huge weakness against Milotic, but the water type should overcome rock since rock is the first type and electric is the secondary type. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with dive. I think this Pokemon has the ability sturdy because if this move, if dive is a one hit KO, it won't be a one hit KO because it'll endure the hit with sturdy. I think that's what the ability is called. Yeah, well, it didn't use sturdy, but the move didn't take as much HP off as I'd hope. I thought we would have been like in the low red. If I don't kill this thing, if it endures the hit, and Sophocles uses his full restore, I'm going to be really upset. Okay, and it didn't. Because I think the golem that um, Kahuna Olivia has in the Elite Four is um, sturdy or it endures the hit. It's never really a time where it just goes out with a one-hit KO move. Okay, let's go with Salandit. We're going to bring Salandit back out. Because Vikovolt is electric and bug type, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's bug and electric. Electric being its secondary type and bug being its first. So the fire type moves of Solandit will be really effective. Yeah, and I was right. It was a one it, well, yeah, I was right about it being super effective. And it's a one hit KO move, which I honestly didn't expect. Because the trainers, you know, like the Elite Four and the Challengers, their stats of their Pokemon are like really high. So I thought his Pokemon would have endured the hit because maybe it would have had high defense and high special defense. Electrovire. Hmm. Um I don't know. Shiny Rayquaza just looks real cool, so I'm going to send him out. I don't think Electrovire is going to knock out my Rayquaza, simply because my Rayquaza is level 100. And I have faith in my Rayquaza. Okay, we're going to go with... Not too many moves. Nothing's really effective. We're just going to just try Gra Dragon Claw and see what happens. 
I personally think dragon and flying type moves should share the same weakness. For example, like electric dragon and flying should share the electric weakness because it's like flying is, you know, like dragons fly since like flying is weak to electric, but whatever. Magnezone is a steel and electric type. So Salandit will be perfect for the job. Oh, my Salandit. Wait, is that Pokerus I see? My Salandit never had Pokerus before. I think the Pokerus spread throughout my party because I think my Milotic has Pokerus. I'm not sure. Yeah, my Salandit has Pokerus now. Metagross has Pokerus. Rayquaza does not have Pokerus. My, um, Garchomp has Pokerus now. Let me see, Gallade, does he have it? Yeah, Gallade has Pokerus. I honestly forgot my Milotic had Pokerus, and I forgot that, like, it spreads throughout your party or your PC box. But, anyway, back to the battle. Okay, I think I'm gonna go off with a bang and use my Z-move. Salandit surrounded itself with its Z-power. Salandit unleashes its full force Z-move of Inferno Overdrive. Ah, Magnezone has Sturdy. Forgot about that. So I think 9 times out of 10, I really believe that Sophocles is going to use a full restore. Let's hope he doesn't, because I cannot use my Z-move again. Okay, and he didn't. Good, good, good. Why don't they use- I remember, like, Elite Four champion battles like Steven in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. He was using full restores left and right. What's up with the Alola Pokemon League? They're not using full restores as often as Elite Four members did in previous games, but whatever. I couldn't get it done. Don't worry about it, my precious Pokemon. You received $7,320 for winning. Why are these payouts so cheap? Because if I had my Metagross, if I used my Metagross in this battle, he has the Amulet Coin. I would have got like $14,000, but I still would have expected the payout to be a little bit more than the base pay of $7,320. Maybe they don't have a lot of money. I don't know. You're way too strong, Dominique. Ping Totem Pokemon 2.0 is running smoothly, so next I'm thinking that I should put together Sophocles Enhanced Program. Congratulations, you defended your title. My level 85 Salandit. My level 100 Shiny Metagross. My level 100 Garchomp. My level 100 Rayquaza. Shiny, he's gorgeous. My level 100 Milotic. My level 100 Gallade. Hmm. Oh, I expected them to. The, the Pokemon to come out. Like right there. Congratulations, you defended your title. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, and we're back at the entrance of Mount Lanakila to the Pokemon League. That wraps up this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hit that like button and don't forget to comment, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notifications. Share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next uh, championship title defense video.